that. And uh, can can you, uh, Chira, can you, um, you know, have the opening prayer? Um, let's bow down and pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thanks for everything that you gave us. And thank you for taking good care of my trip so I have a safe trip back home. And thank you for giving us the opportunity that we can study your words again. And may your blessing bring us closer together and be the light for the leader of this world. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. Good mm -hmm. to see you. Um, so uh, oh. uh, we're going to start uh, earlier today, you know, since you're here. Um, today is Friday, August 12th, is uh, the year of our Lord 2022, and uh, it's also the um, the 15th of uh, AV, you know, AV is uh, the month, the month of the Hebrew calendar, uh, 15, I guess, uh, tonight is uh, pretty much a full moon kind of thing. Oh, uh, tonight is full moon. Yeah. And uh, so in about a month's time, it, it would be our, um, uh, you know, in September, it would be our Zhong um, uh, you know, the mid autumn Festival also. And, uh, you know, today title is uh, Blessing of Asher. Um, Asher means happiness. <laughs> happiness, you know, it's going to be a happiness, you know, in the kingdom of the Lord. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Jesus. Yeah, and um, so uh, how how does this uh, uh, title come about? You know, well, um, of course, you know, uh, last week, um, uh, you know, last week uh, we, we have um, you know one of those uh, historical events, uh, like on the ninth, um, which is August six. You know, today is August twelfth. So, you know, about six days ago, you know, there's the uh, night for uh, AV, but also the night for Abba. Abba means uh, Abba, Abba Father. <laughs> and, uh, but what happened on the night for, uh, 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 you know, a AB or AV, um, well, there was the uh, historical events that happened many, many years ago. Um, you know, it uh, happened on the same date. And uh, the first uh, historical event was uh, like almost 2,600 years ago. It was the destruction of the temple of Solomon. Solomon built a temple for uh, God in heaven. And, uh, but you know, about 2,600 years ago, um, Solomon temple was destroyed on, on that day, you know, the night of AB. Uh, but also, you know, strangely, uh, coincidentally, um, you know, uh, later on, uh, after 670 years, uh, in uh, AD 70, AD 70, um, the uh, temple that Jesus had walked, the temple in Jerusalem that Jesus had walked, it was destroyed on the same day. So, you know, it was very, very sad, you know, it's a uh, Kind of like uh, the Saturday day uh, for the Jewish calendar, you know, for the Hebrew calendar. Um, but you know, of course, uh, last week we also, you know, found out, you know, it was also uh, the night for Ab, you know, the uh, night for Abba, is uh, in uh, in another incident. It's a uh, really, um, um, you know, yeah, you know, it's a it's a uh, you know upside down change for the uh, uh, world civilizations because Jesus, when he was crucified, he was, he was uh, crucified and he died on the ninth hour, the ninth hour. So the ninth hour of Abba is a very set, uh, was a very sad hour for father in heaven, uh, oh. you know, because what happened was uh, because uh, his beloved son, you know, he's, he has only one, begotten son uh, to become man, uh, son of God becomes son of man, you know, and then he died on the ninth hour. And uh, the father in heaven have to turn his back because uh, his son 
upon all the sins of the world, all the sins of the world. And so, you know, he can, he could not look at him. You know, he uh, turned his back to of his son on the ninth hour when Jesus died on the uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, which is according to the Bible, is the ninth hour. So the ninth hour of Abba was uh, very sad also, just like the temple was destroyed or was sad, sad for the Jew. But, you know, the ninth hour of Abba was uh, because his son, you know, died for us. You know, so that was last week. <laughs> That um, you know that uh, we you know uh, we study, uh, but you know we continue to uh, uh, study the uh, the the last book of Moses. You know the Deuteronomy, Song Ming Gay, the Deuteronomy, and uh, so uh, so this uh, this is the second week uh, we're going to study the Deuteronomy uh, from chapter three, uh, verse twenty three to chapter seven, verse eleven alongside with Isaiah, but uh, we won't have time, you know, to uh, study Isaiah in this uh, today. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, the Torah portion, you know, they use uh, this, uh, this word as a, as a, as a, uh, I plead, I plead, you know, you know, I, you know, like praying to God, you know, uh, so, um, it, it is from the first words of the Torah portion that they have. Uh, I also plead with the law at that time, you know, in the, the law of each of the page 23. And the portion completes the historical prologue of the Deuteronomy uh, document and begins a rehearsal of the stipulations. Part of the rehearsal is rep repetitions of the Ten Commandments and the famous uh, first passage or the Shema. Shema, which means, uh, 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 it means uh, Shema, uh, 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 you know, hearing, hearing, you know, hear, O Israel, the Lord God, the Lord is one. So in the morning, uh, you know, all the devoted to, uh, they would uh, pray the prayer and they would recite the, uh, some of the verses, you know, the, 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 the passage. And so the first word come out from their mouth is uh, Shema Israel El Adonai Ekana Adonai Eka, you know, and 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 so Shema is the first word, you know. So even though it means uh, hearing, but it also kind of represents the the law L A W the law, you know, the old uh, Mosaic law. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we're going to study uh, a portion of the uh, Deuteronomy, you know, se second time from last, last week, we uh, covered the first time. And uh, so we covered from chapter three, verse 23, uh, chapter four, five, six, and seven. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So, uh, uh, you know, this is the first passage of the uh, Torah portion. Um, so I plead, you know, now, uh, so the, one of the focus, uh, you know, uh, that uh, we're going to have is why is pleading, why is pleading not always answered? In other words, you know, how come, you know, sometimes prayer answer and sometimes, you know, it doesn't feel like it, uh, you know, what happened, you know? So uh, we use the Moses uh, as um, as uh, you know um, you know uh, study um, you know approach you know and and try to understand you know how come some some prayer work some prayer don't you know, and uh, how how does it work so so in this case Moses pray to the law and uh, so I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard <laughs> and uh, and uh, if you can you know, read for us you know chapter uh, free of the Deuteronomy from verse 23 to 29. Okay. And I besought the Lord at the time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, 
Let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But the Lord was worth with me for your sakes, and could not and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suff suffice thee. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up thy eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold it with thy eyes. For thou shalt not go over this Jordan, but charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before these people. And he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we are both in the valley over against Bethpur. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, so this is the beginning uh, savor uh, of the uh, you know study of the Torah portion. Now, so. Uh, we already know, and uh, we have studied before, that uh, uh, sadly, you know, Moses and Aaron was told they they're going to die. They're going to die. Uh, they cannot. Uh, they could not uh, go into the promised land. They cannot uh, cross the Jordan River. You know, Jordan River. You know, the Yarden, uh, which means um, uh, spiritually means the death. You know, they 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 cannot cross the the valley of death uh, uh, into the promised land, you know. For us, you know, the promised land is heavens. And uh, for the um, for the children of Israel in the Old Testament times, you know, in those days, uh, they they were going to get into the promised land, you know, the, the Sabbath, the land of rest, you know, for them. Uh, but Moses, the, the, the leader, of the children of Israel and Aaron, the first high priest, um, over them, you know, uh, we will not be would not be going getting into uh, the promised land. Uh, it's of course it's a sad thing for them. And uh, you know, previous time, you know, we already study and uh, talk about you know how come you know Moses uh, was really uh, excited, and then uh, even though Aaron already died, you know, and he still want to be alive. And uh, he he want to see that uh, Lebanon, you know, the goodly mountain Lebanon, um, and then turn out, you know, fifteen hundred later, fifteen hundred years later, um, Jesus went up to Mount Hermon, which is uh, on the Lebanon, uh, you know, uh, Lebanon, you know, mountain, uh, the 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 white mountain, you know, Lebanon means uh, the white mountain, and. Uh, so, you know, Mount Hermon was uh, the, the high mountain that uh, when Jesus was transfigured uh, in the gospel. And then, you know, two, two figures show up, you know, one is Moses. <laughs> so, so the loss was, um, you know, was mad that um, uh, Moses and Aaron, and so they could not get into the promised land. But you know, after he died, and then fifteen hundred years later, Moses show up in the goodly mountain of Lebanon. Man, you know, she. So uh, you know, the the Bible is so much. Uh, you know, it's uh, so much wonderful things. You know, uh, you know, when you understand, you know, the Lord is the center. The Lord is the center of our life, our worship. You know. But anyway, uh, so so you know, uh, the Lord told uh, Moses, you know. Uh, you can get up to a peace car, you know. There's a there's a peak called beat beat peace car, you know, and uh, and then you can look, you can look, you know, uh, all directions, but you cannot go into uh, uh, over the Jordan. Yeah, uh, that's the direct command of the Lord, you know, yeah, the Yahweh, the Je Jehovah, you know, and uh, but you know uh, Moses was told, you know, to you know charge Joshua. You know, Georgia is uh, actually in, uh, uh, you know, that's a Hebrew name, of course. 
but actually Joshua is the same spelling as Jesus. Jesus is a, is a Greek name because the New Testament was written in Greek. So it was Jesus. But actually in Hebrew, uh, in Hebrew, they don't have a J. There's no letter J. So actually, well, you know, Joshua is uh, Yahshua and uh, Jesus is Yahshua. <laughs> so oh, Joshua. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah, so yes. So actually the Chinese. Uh, I thought uh, it's Latin, you know. Huh? I thought in Latin is also sound, ye, sound like ye, so. Yes, exactly. So. So what happened was uh, German, Latin, and Chinese are more correct uh, in the uh, pronunciation of Jesus. Jesus is, uh, is a mispronunciation actually of, of his uh, name, you know, uh, on earth. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, you know, a, a lot of time, you know, people are so proud of English, you know, like as if, you know, they are more correct and more, but it turned out, you know, English is, um, um, you know, because of the, you know, letter J uh, instead of Y, you know, and uh, so the German, the Chinese and the Latin is more correct. <laughs> I see. Yeah, so, yes, yes, so, uh, amen. <laughs> but it's okay, you know, Jesus, no, uh, if, even though you mispronounce his name, Jesus uh, actually don't mind, you know, because uh, Jesus loved every one of us, you know, no matter, you know, how, how you know how your pronunciation doesn't affect your 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 love between you and Jesus. <laughs> so so you know you miss pronounce, you know, Jesus said it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, you know. Uh, a lot of time, you know, people are, you know, uh, think they are more correct in pronunciation and then they look down on the other people, you know, that you know seems to be miss pronouncing, you know, they because they they sound foreign to them, you know, that, that, that's their, their problem. It's not my, our problem. <laughs> and it's not Jesus' problem. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, so this is a really wonderful, wonderful. Um, and then, you know, he mentioned about the P, Pisca, P, Pisca. You know, um, if, I, if I can, you know, uh, and I can see if uh, we can, uh, show it on, on uh, you know, uh, uh, where Peace Car is. And, um, you know, this time I, I won't use the Google map. I, I will use um, maybe a, a, a Chinese uh, a Bible site, a Chinese Bible site, and uh, see if we can find the Peace Car. And uh, so, you know, we go to the Deuteronomy, something gay, and then, uh, Chapter three, you know, um, and uh, and uh, it's uh, we're going to look for the map uh, for the uh, Beisiga, you know, Beisiga, you know, the uh, chapter three, verse twenty-seven, which is you know the mention of the name uh, Pisca. Okay, uh, that's not it. Maybe I place the, okay. So peace card is over here. Peace card, which is on the east, east side of Jordan, east side of Jordan, which, which means that it is in the country of Jordan now, you know, peace card. And then you know, so it's um, uh, you know uh, if you look uh, west, uh, then uh, you would be uh, looking over the Dead Sea, and it's the River Jordan uh, that come out you know from the Lake of Galilee, and then further on you know uh, from from the uh, Mount Hermon you know from the from the uh, Lebanon Mountain you know the, the 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 water run 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 from Lake of Galilee into the Dead Sea. Is like the, uh, the, you know, the lowest point of of the earth, lowest point in uh, elevations. You know, it's be low, be sea level. Anyway, so uh, Moses was going to, he was told to get up to Pisgah, and then you know see over the the promised land. The promised land is um, you know the west 
and also uh, north of uh, Pisgah, you know, uh, this uh, will also promise to them. Um, but, you know, mainly is the, uh, the, the Jordan River that um, uh, delineate the border of the, uh, you know, for the children in Israel. Oh, uh, yeah, later on, uh, we're going to read that again, uh, uh, some, somewhat about the peace God, you know, about the, that, that uh, what happened in chapter three, uh, because uh, uh, Moses is not dying yet. So until the last chapter 34, you know, and uh, this, uh, this uh, place and name, peace God, will occur again. Now, but in chapter four, you know, there was a kind of like a, uh, going over some of those uh, history. Uh, one of the history that just happened not long ago, you know, um, um, you know, like uh, in chapter three was, uh, um, you know, he was reminded uh, or he was reminding the children in Israel about the Bell Peor, you know, Bell Peor, you know, remember, you know, in, uh, in chapter three, the last uh, verse was uh, they were stationed in uh, Bell Peor, Beth, Beth Pio, Beth Pio, you know, the, the house of Pio, or Bell Pio, you know, both of them the same, same thing. Um, and, and so what happened in chapter four, um, you know, um, I, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read the, uh, the, the first portion, uh, the Deuteronomy chapter four, uh, verse one to four. Okay. Um, now, therefore, Hearken, hearken, yeah. hearken, O Israel, unto the status and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers gives you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Your eyes shall see that the Lord did because of Baalpur. Bal For all the men that follow Baalpur, the Lord thy God hath destroyed them from among you. But ye that did crave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, so this is uh, you know pretty much uh, almost like it happened, you know, uh, not not too long ago. Uh, what happened was uh, in um, in the Book of Numbers, you know, uh, near, near the end, um, you know, um, in uh, chapter twenty. Um, well, actually, in chapter, uh, 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 you know, uh, yeah, you know, in the book of Numbers, you know, uh, they, uh, the median, I try to catch up, the median, I try to catch up with, um, with the children in Israel, right? Uh, the median, I, uh, they used to live in um, Mount Sinai area, uh, you know, for a few hundred kilometers away. And, uh, but, uh, what they observed was uh, the last 38 years uh, when the children of Israel traveled in the wilderness, uh, they were having a kind of like, you know, well, you know, it's not so bad, you know, because uh, every day they have food, uh, you know, the heaven provide food. And every day they find, you know, some streams or, you know, some water source, you know, and, and so, you know, they are, they are you know, traveling long time, like 38 years uh, in the wilderness. And um, they, uh, they seems like they are, you know, uh, you know, a uh, prosperous somewhat you know, in the sense that um, they, they live, you know, from day to day. And then, uh, you know, even though the, uh, the desert, the, the wilderness is, was very hot, like nowadays, you know, it's a hot, 
uh, in the desert, you know, like 140 degrees. But because they have the pillar of cloud, they have pillar of cloud, you know, in the, uh, during the day. So as a result, you know, they have um, kind of like air conditioning. They are shielded from the sun. They are shielded from the sun. You know, they they uh, it seems like you know they they uh, they they're doing okay. You know, and then in the in the at night, you know, uh, in the desert, you know, the the weather is um, the the temperature is very low. You know, like you know can be uh, can be freezing, but you know they have the pillar of fire. But anyway. So anyway, you know, the media line was uh, saying, hey, you know, they have victory over their enemies and uh, they seems like they're doing well. And, uh, you know, they, they seems like, you know, they are kind of lucky, you know, um, uh, seems like they, they are really, uh, you know, having a good time and so forth, you know, as a result, five kings of the media line travel long distance, oh, uh, you know, bring the whole, whole, uh, you know, um, you know, um, you know, uh, people, you know, a, a lot of people of the media line with their five kings, you know, and they try to join up with um, the children of Israel. And then, but, you know, the way they're doing it is, uh, you know, they try to have, a, uh, you know, uh, some kind of union, you know, with with the uh, children of Israel. Now, from God's point of view, God wants to, use the uh, children of Israel as an uh, example, as a window, showing that God or Israel is real. But at the same time, the media like, try to bring their own idols, their own, um, you know, um, belief, uh, but they want to benefit from, uh, you know, the, the blessing, you know, that uh, the children of Israel have. And they, so as a result, uh, they set up, uh, you know, on uh, Bel Peor, um, you know, and uh, have sacrifice and uh, have a lot of food, you know, and uh, also have a really, you know, uh, you know, all these women, you know, and uh, so they want to uh, join up, uh, have an unholy union with the uh, children of Israel, particularly the the uh, Simeon, the Simeon. Now, so uh, we studied that before, and uh, that is actually, that is actually, uh, not so much about intermarriage. Uh, it's not. It's not. You know, God is not a, a, against inter. Um, you know, uh, interracial marriage. It's not. But you know, the law is. Uh, you know, ha uh, not happy about the fact that you know the the joining of the Midianite and the Simeonite um, religiously. In other words, you know, the un unbelief. Uh, you know. Um, now, median like want to be with the semen, but spiritually it also means this. It means that you know the, because the semen like you know let's say shima shima is the same spelling as a uh, semen, and uh, so semen like represent the law, and then they they want to add their own spiritual books. You know that's a spiritual meaning of them. You know they they want to so that's why in four two four three four four. That uh, uh, Gerard just read, you know, the law was saying, you know, um, I have uh, my my commandments, I have my word of God, and uh, but you know what happened is, you know that they see this, you know that the lesson is they try to add uh, the word, add uh, add on to the God's word, and they try to have man's word or man's faith, you know, God's faith, God's word. And then they try to add on their own religion, um, adding and minus their religion, um, so that it is different from hundred percent Bible, you know. And uh, um, so, so this is like a spiritual picture of what happened with the median. Like the median um, is uh, like the in laws. The law is God's word. The in laws is uh, you know try to get inside. And then combine, you know, have a combined religion, combined faith, and uh, and uh, so that uh, you worship a uh, uh, God, but uh, you worship uh, the idol also. You know, it's kind of like that. So, so this uh, four two four three four four is uh, talking about, and as a result, that time twenty four thousand died, twenty four thousand perished, 
and uh, most many of them, most of them are she, uh, the Simeonite. The Simeonite uh, suffer most, um, uh, more than half of them is gone. Now, uh, this thing actually happened again in the second century. This thing, uh, you know, happened again in the second century during the uh, the Caesar uh, Hadrian, the Emperor Hadrian. <clears throat> What happened was that you know there was um, you know uh, you know a famous rabbi you know that um, you know come up with the idea you know that uh, maybe they can have uh, their own uh, uh, book um, the book of uh, you know um, you know all this magic and uh, 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 rabbinical teaching and um, you know and um, so you know a lot of people like that idea at that time because. Uh, because uh, they were under Roman rules. And uh, so a lot of uh, the Hebrew people were dispersed into the whole world on, in the Roman Empire. And uh, so, you know, they, they want to uh, preserve, you know, a lot of those, uh, um, you know, wisdom that uh, different rabbis come up with. So, so they want to have, um, you know, a combination book uh, uh, called Kind of like now we refer to as the oral Torah. Oral Torah means uh, it's uh, originally not written down, but uh, they want to. Um, so somehow, some reasons, you know, in uh, in the uh, uh, Asian time, Hadrian time, you know, uh, twenty four thousand of the uh, rabbinical scholar died. Uh, you know, so every year nowadays, you know, they have a uh, they have a fire, a bonfire, you know. Uh, um, Memorial Day in the spring. Uh, they have a bonfire Memorial Day called uh, Lake Bomber. And uh, to, to remember the 24,000 uh, uh, scholars that died. So uh, they still do that. Um, and uh, in fact, you know, uh, as a result of that, you know, they, uh, they still do, you know, uh, uh, a lot of time, you know, the, uh, uh, some, some of the branch of the Jew. Uh, they uh, practice the uh, uh, study of the um, you know their their own uh, holy book, their own holy book, not the Bible, not the Torah, but they, they also they study six days a week, you know, full time on their on their own holy book, and uh, I don't think the Lord is happy with that because uh, uh, it's not God's word. God's word will give you power, and then healing, and then uh, you know blessing because it's God's word, but you know. Uh, man's word, you know, don't give you nothing, you know, so, but anyway, that's, um, uh, we have talked about that before. So uh, jumping into chapter five, jumping into chapter five, and uh, uh, so, you know, this is talking about, you know, the, uh, the um, you know, Ten Commandments, and then uh, this is uh, uh, what uh, uh, Moses talk about, you know, as a result of the uh, Ten Commandments given in uh, Exodus. And then so as a result, you know, um, uh, the, the, the people of the uh, uh, children of Israel was uh, very afraid. You know, they don't like the voice of the living God. They are very scared, you know, they might die, you know. So uh, uh, maybe um, uh, uh, Gerard can read for us uh, chapter five, verse 27. 27. Yes. Go thou near and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we will hear it and do it. Mm. Okay, so uh, this is the response of the children of Israel at that time. Uh, and so, you know, Moses only write it down, you know, as a, as a kind of like a reminder of the what happened in Exodus. Uh, but you know what happened was they were so afraid of God's uh, voice. You know, remember, you know, uh, later on, even Peter, when he was on the on the high mountain, you know, he uh, said something wrong, and then uh, God, you know, the Father in heaven, uh, saying, and then listen to my son, you know, he's my beloved son, listen to him only, you know, not to Moses, and uh, so Peter was afraid too because. Uh, you know, when you hear about the voice of God, you know, <laughs> who is not afraid, right? 
So uh, even the, the 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 you know the Peter Peter you know the the disciple of uh, Jesus you know he was afraid to. But anyway, so this is what the, what those people, children of Israel, the ancient uh, Israel, said to Moses, and he said, ah, you 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 talk to the law, and then uh, listen to what he said, and then and then uh, you know after you you hear it, and then you can tell us. We we don't want to hear his. <laughs> we don't want to hear his voice, you know. Uh, you know, so so they asked Moses to be the middleman. You know, it's a, it's a, the sales agent. You know, it's, <laughs> he doesn't want want want. Uh, they, they they don't want to listen uh, hear God's voice. You know, they were so afraid, and uh, because uh, it's like a, the God voice is uh, like the fire. It's like the earthquake. It's like the, it's it's like the you know, wind, fire, and uh, earthquake, you know. And uh, so they, they were so afraid of that. And then so they say, uh, just, Moses, can you, can you, um, uh, you know, find out what uh, the law uh, say, and then uh, you can speak to us. So, so well, uh, you know, that is, that is actually no good, you know, because why? Hey, you have a middle man now. You have a middle man, you know, the middle man is Moses. And then end up Moses died, you know, so, you know, that's not very good, you know. Now, of course, now, you know, in the new covenant, we have a middleman too. The middleman is Jesus, <laughs> our Lord Jesus, you know. So, you know, son of God becomes son of man, you know, because be our sacrifice. And then now, as a result, we have the Holy Spirit in us. We have the Holy Spirit in our body because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Man, so, so, you know, we, we no longer need a middleman. But, you know, in the Old Testament time, you know, in the time of Moses, they, are, they insist. They say, oh, we don't want to hear, you know, it's too heavy. So uh, we, we, we will hear it and do it. You know, that's a promise. You know, they, they say they can fulfill, you know, all, you know, all the promise. Now, that's a problem. You know, you, 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 can you, anyone actually fulfill everything? No. They, they think too highly of themselves, you know, that that's, you know, you do it, get good, uh, do good, get good, do bad, get bad, you know, you know, or a different kind of religions, you know, but uh, that's, that's not good enough for God in heavens. So, yeah, you know, the, so, you know, can you imagine, you know, if, uh, if people are going by, by this, then uh, they, they, you know, their, their prayer are no good. Because uh, you're going by Moses. Remember Moses asked uh, to go in and then he could not. And then so now, you know, the children of Israel ask Moses, uh, you listen to him and then uh, you tell us and then we will do it, you know, promise everything. But, you know, you, you know that that is not the way to get answer prayer. That's, that's number one. Number two, that that, uh, that means they forfeit. They forfeit even though they... Uh, in by the uh, Mosaic Covenant, they kind of uh, marry to, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Father in heaven, God, you know, marry to God. But, you know, that kind of marriage is, uh, is not fa family. It's not family. It's more like a master and slave because, uh, you know, uh, end up, you know, the people are so afraid, you know, even Moses, they are so afraid, like, like a dog is afraid of the master going to kick it and or hit it, you know, with a rod, you know. You know, that is the Old Testament, Old, old Covenant uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, relationship, not, not you know, because uh, they try to, they think they can do it, you know, but uh, actually they, they don't mesh it up, you know, uh, you know, by, by their action. So, so uh, you know that is uh, that is a problem. Now, uh, having said that, you know uh, you you understand you know the the problem nowadays. You know, uh, uh, you know, church as a whole uh, have tried to uh, also practice that um, new covenant, uh, believing in Jesus for salvation. But at the same time, they uh, a lot of churches, a lot of denomination, they try to bring out the uh, the old covenant. They buy. They they bring out the ten commandments. They bring out the ten commandments. Uh, 
you know, they, they try to honor and promote Ten Commandments in uh, some states, some of the states in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in this country and, you know, in, uh, also in Europe and uh, South America, you know, uh, a, a lot of churches, you know, uh, both uh, Catholic and Protestant, you know, they, they have their own denominations. And then a lot of time, you know, the denomination would add things, would add on things, you know, the things that are not in the Bible or not, not focused or emphasized in the Bible, uh, you know, but, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, uh, how, how can he bless people? Well, you know, when the people add on things, just like the Midianite uh, try to add on to the, to the Simeonite, and uh, they have their own little books. Uh, a lot of time, you know, they, in the Sunday school, in their teaching, in their Bible study, they, they use not God's word, they use men's, uh, uh, you know, uh, booklet. You know, they, 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 uh, they study the booklet rather than, you know, they, they have a, a publishing by Sunday School Association. They have a publishing uh, by uh, Bible Society, you know, of a different kind of study booklet. So they end up study the booklets rather than the Bible because Bible is God's word. So, you know, it carry power and, uh, and, and blessing, you know, when you, uh, you know, and, but, you know, if uh, you get uh, like someone middleman, you know, the middleman is a, a pastor, maybe, uh, 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 maybe an elder, maybe a, a Sunday school teacher. And then they, 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 they want to hear from the man, uh, the person rather than, you know the Bible. You know teaching of the Bible. Now uh, that is a uh, that is uh, kind of like you know the Moses way. You know the Moses way is, you know they have a middleman, but not Jesus. You know, in uh, in New Testament, you know we have the middleman is Jesus Christ, Jesus our Lord, and then uh, we also have his his Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. You know, so. So it's uh, it's uh, you know it's kind of different. Old covenant and new covenant is very different. Uh, so, uh, uh, if you look at you know in the so in the New Testament, uh, you know there is actually uh, in the teaching of uh, Paul and uh, New Testament time, uh, like Galatian, is uh, you know I, I I'm going to just uh, read that you know because it's very short. Is a Christ is becoming of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Now, whosoever is a very powerful word, you know. So it doesn't matter if uh, you believe or you already uh, uh, believe in Jesus Christ, you are a, a, a Christian by faith uh, or not. If uh, you still try to go back to Ten Commandments, Moses' law, you try to get justification by law. You 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 think uh, um, you know the Moses law is uh, not fulfilled yet because Jesus is not good enough. You know, yeah, I need to uh, you know have my own uh, uh, practice or ten commandments. You know, uh, promote ten commandments rather than Jesus. And uh, so you know, then Christ become no effect. In other words, you know, it's uh, you are either justified by law or you are justified by grace. You, If you are 100% Jesus, then uh, Christ have effects on you. But if you try to have a mix, then, uh, you know, you are honoring something that already, uh, you know, passed. You know, the law, Ten Commandments, um, you know, a lot of time, you know, people think Ten Commandments can, can save you. No. The Ten Commandments only demand that uh, you are perfect. You are to be holy. And uh, nobody is holy enough uh, 100% of the time. Or no, nobody is uh, holy enough, uh, you know, that they won't uh, break law, you know. So, you know, but Jesus, you know, is a new covenant. New covenant is Jesus have already paid for, fulfill all the law. So he already fulfilled it. And then so, you are just justified by faith, but you know the uh, but uh, the old covenant is you know if um, they try to practice some law, um, some part or the whole thing, uh, then uh, Christ is becoming of no effect. Yeah. 
no effect in, in others. And that's why, you know, a lot of time, you know, in those churches, uh, when, when uh, they, they don't believe in miracle, they don't believe in healing, they don't believe in Jesus uh, is a healer. Uh, they only believe in uh, Jesus is uh, the savior for salvation. That's all they get, you know. Um, you know, so I believe, you know, all the uh, different denominations, uh, you know, when where people believe in Jesus as a savior, um, you know, uh, son of God and, and become uh, the sacrifice and the savior of our life. And uh, we do have eternal life. Yes, that's the part of the promise. But, you know, to you, you get part one doesn't mean you get part two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, you know, what, what's the other parts? The other parts is you know, you have faith in Christ every day, then uh, the Christ would uh, uh, walk with you and uh, bless you uh, with uh, his uh, healing and blessing and miracle. So, so, so you know, uh, he's not just uh, your, your, your savior, but he's your, also a redeemer from all curses, all curses. So in Old Testament, they have curse. Now, um, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read the Hebrew chapter four, verse three. Okay, for we which have believed do enter into, into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although their works were finished from the foundation of the world. Ah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So actually, you know, the, the plan and the work is already, you know, uh, already started and done in uh, from the from the beginning of the world is already already done you know in other words the 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 father god and the son of god they already come out with the salvation plan so that we will become the family of god we can become sons and daughters of god it's already done you know uh even before the you know the beginning uh even before the heavens and earth was you know, <laughs> was done in, before Genesis 1-1 one, one, is, you know, uh, the father and the son of God, you know, they already plan out, you know, how, how to save us. E even though the devil, you know, try to fight him left and right, left and right, you know, uh, you know, try to, try to uh, get us, um, uh, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in the, in the conspiracy, you know, to, uh, uh, against God, you know, but, you know, it's already done. Now, but in the case of Moses, uh, you know, it was uh, just a temporary thing. You know, it was uh, the, the old, old covenant of uh, Moses, uh, you know, was not, was not the, the tool to, to, uh, to get into Sabbath. You know, picture of Moses and, and Ten Commandments, you know, was not, was not the way, uh, you know, and, and still is not, you know. So uh, I'm going to show you, uh, if you remember, uh, uh, you know, we, we, in chapter three, you know, uh, uh, the Lord told Moses, you're going to get up to Pisgah and then uh, you're going to, uh, you know, see that. And then, uh, so in chapter 34, this thing happened. You know, Moses died in chapter 34, verse five. I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read the uh, all five verses. Okay. Um, and Moses went up from the plains of Mall unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead into then, and all the Tolly and the land of Abram and Manasseh and all the land of Judah unto the utmost sea and the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees unto shore. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob saying, I will give it unto the, thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not go over Tita. 
So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Mob. Of Mob. According to the land, according to the word of the Lord. Mm, thank you, thank you. So, so what uh, was said in uh, chapter three of the Deuteronomy now became true in the last chapter, and so uh, Moses did go up to the peak of Pisgah, you know that uh, we saw in, and is on the mountain of Nebo, you know, and uh, but. But the strange thing is this, the strange thing is, you know, he, uh, the Lord showed him, uh, you know, all those, uh, the, uh, you know, places where different tribes uh, will, uh, will, will be uh, stationed, you know. So it, he's showing him, you know, the, the, the actual map of Israel, the map of Israel. And uh, so all, where all the 12 tribes uh, would, would be, would be, you know, kind of over. And uh, so, and, but he said, you know, uh, this is the land which I swore unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then uh, give it to thy seed. And then, but, you know, he said, uh, you, uh, you are seeing it now. I have caused you to see it, but you cannot get in. So, so that is exactly the problem. You know, uh, you know, the way it worked for Moses is, they can, he can see it, but cannot get it. It is like uh, a lot of churches or a lot of, um, uh, you know, people uh, that still hold on to the Ten Commandments. You know, they, 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 they know that somewhere in the Bible, he said, uh, you know, they're going to get blessed, you know, da, 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 and all that. But they, can, they cannot get the blessing. You know, because why? Because you hold on Ten Commandments in a, in a way, it's, it's uh, actually kind of like uh, insulting Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit cannot bless you because, uh, you know, you, you, you know you, you hold on to the work of uh, the law. I, I mean, uh, the Moses law, then uh, you, you are whole, you know, following Moses. Uh, then, you know, you know uh, Jesus cannot bless you. Yeah. So, so uh, it's, it's that kind of thing, you know. Uh, this is very interesting because... Uh, Moses went up to Pisgah and saw the, the map of Israel, but, you know, he cannot uh, go in, but you can see it. You can see it. You can only hope. So, so, you know, that is not a, that's not a good way to get, get answer prayer. You know, that's not a good way. In other words, those churches, those denominations, those, uh, 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 you know, community that promote Ten Commandments, they they um, they end up, you know, get cursed. Yeah, you know. So uh, you know, I um, it's it's not a it's not a it's you know because uh, you know the Bible blessing and curse is what we now. You know, it's interesting. You know, he said uh, this is the land I I swore unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm going to show you uh, what what was promised to Abraham. And uh, so these uh, four verses. Um, so, uh, you know, um, uh, maybe just a uh, uh, chapter 15, verse 18. Verse 18 is a promise to Abraham. Uh, Gerard, can you read for us? Okay. In the same day, the Lord made a co covenant with Abraham, saying unto thy seed, have I given this land from the river of Egypt and to the great river, the river you praise. You praise, yes. You yeah, praise. Thank you. yeah, that's it. That's good. So so you know the the part of the promise to Abraham, you know, the promise of Abraham, you know, even though his name was Abram, um, you know, that day, that day in the same day, man, you know, the covenant he made promise to Abram. And then later on, his name changed to Abraham. He said, unto thy seed, have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river of the, the river Euphrates. Wow, that covered the whole uh, Middle East. See that? Covered the whole Middle East. In other words, first of all, you know, unto thy seed, you know, Abel, you know, because that there's a singular seed, you know, 
that is actually talking about Jesus. So in other words, you know, the covenant uh, with Abram was saying, you know, in the future, uh, you know, when when the Daisid, you know, um, um, you know, uh, uh, come come true, it cover much much more bigger bigger land, not not just the uh, the map of Israel, but you know the uh, the whole Middle East because Euphrates is like what Euphrates is like um, Iraq and even part of Iran, you know, and uh, and then all the way to River Nile. You know, that, that pretty much uh, cover the whole Middle East. So he, he mentioned all these uh, uh, different tribes, a uh, different race of people, you know, all those are, are covered, all those are covered, all those are covered. You know, that's the promise of, to Abraham. Abraham. Uh, compared to that, you know, Moses' promise was nothing. You know, because why? Because Moses is a lawyer, kind of like the first lawyer. So, you know, um, you know, in terms of by law, you know, you can only get what is allowed legally, legally, well, what's allowed legally. Well, you know, it's the map of Israel, you know, uh, where the 12 tribes reside later on, you know, it's a very limited, um, you know, physical promise. Compared to Abraham, it's a, it's a spiritual promise. It covered the whole world, actually. Not just Middle East, but you know, it, it just come to show, you know. That's why we are we are uh, descendant, we are descendant of Abraham, because uh we have the seed of Abraham, which is Jesus. And uh, so so we get we get great promise, great promise, like you know, you know, uh, now that uh, we believe believe and uh, become a part of the kingdom of the law, and uh, so we we have great promise. You know, in fact, uh, it would cover the whole universe and and beyond. You know, because uh, we are with the law, the law where where the law is, uh, where, and and so are we in this world, man. <laughs> the promise of Abraham is a spiritual promise. Abraham did not see all this, but uh, you know, fool him, and then fool you know his his end in Christ Jesus, and then uh, we we have. Way, way big, you know, poems. Okay, spiritual poems is great, great poems. And then to Isaac, to Isaac, uh, you know, uh, so I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard read uh, Isaac, uh, Genesis chapter 26, two verses. Okay, so John in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee for unto thee. And unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I sworn unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Wow, crazy, crazy. <laughs> so... So the promise to Abraham, uh, yes, the Lord will honor it. And then, you know, but to the son Isaac, well, you, you know, Isaac is also a picture of Jesus, but uh, that's another story. We won't touch it. So this promise to Isaac is all these countries and all these countries and all the star multiply the I see, you know, Jesus to multiply as the stars of heaven. So, you know, all these people uh, in, in the kingdom is uh, like the stars of heaven. Not, not just um, a, a small piece of um, real estate in um, like the map of Israel. No, not just the 12 tribes. You know, 12 tribes is nowadays, uh, it's only... Um, you know, 15 million people, you know, very small, small uh, race, you know, the law loves the, the, the Jews, the Hebrews, yes, but the law loves the world, you know, he's the savior of the world, come on, you know, so so this promise to Isaac is, woo, you know, and then it cover like multiply as the stars of heaven, can you count the stars of heaven, nobody counted it, 
<laughs> I, I don't know how many billions, you know, it, it's, uh, it's uh, way beyond uh, our imaginations. But, you know, that means, you know, yeah, you know, the, it's, it, it's part the promise of the spiritual is much greater than the physical. You know, the physical promise uh, uh, to, to Moses, not that good because uh, he cannot even get in. He can only see, you know, hormone, but <laughs> hockey, but you know, so so that's that's not good, you know. So so this is the the the, the heavenly promise, the heavenly promise. So even to uh, Jacob, in the dream of Jacob, you know, it's uh, in Genesis twenty eight, uh, two verses again. So uh, I asked you Ra, to read for us. Okay, and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the Lord of Isaac, the land whereon thy die. To thee will I give it, and to thy seed, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and, to, and in thee. And in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Wow, man. You know, all the families of the earth be blessed. All the families of the earth be blessed. You know, this is, uh, you know, talking about thy seed is the Christ Jesus. And because uh, we are also the seed of Abraham, so uh, we we get all these promise. You know, so, so uh, you know, just beware. You know, the fact is, God is uh, so powerful, almighty God. And, 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 and the God of the Bible is not just blessing a, a, a few people in the church or blessing, a, you know, a few countries in the world. It's, it's blessing the whole earth, the whole earth. So, you know, um, so as a result, you know, uh, he declared that he's the savior of the world. So, um, you know, uh, so what's going on, you know, is um, uh, you have to open your eyes, you know, heavenly, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, don't, don't uh, try to uh, uh, stay on, you know, with the, uh, you know, that, 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 um, you know, the old covenant, which are already expired, you know, it, it already have an expiration day, you know, Moses died, you know, and uh, Moses, you know, um, you know, can, cannot get in, you know, so you you follow Moses, then uh, you you end up you know getting not not good. You know, uh, you know the 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 good things is the son of God. You know is he's the son, not the servant. Moses is only a man; is a servant. So uh, you know when they follow a a, a, a servant, you know uh, they end up into the basement kitchen. You know, um, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a no joke. You know, so. Um, that, that is, that is, um, um, so now having said all that, you know, uh, you remember, you know, we, we, we read about, you know, like, um, one of the, uh, uh scene, one of the problems of, uh, you know, the religious, uh, uh, you know, um, mix up, you know, they try to mix up the religions, uh, is, uh, Balaam and the five median like kings, you know, and, uh, it turned out it's in the churches, they still do that. Uh, you know, no, no jokes, you know, because uh, in uh, Revelation chapter two, uh, it mentioned about the, the church of uh, Pergamon, Pergamon and uh, the Pergamon church um, is that in the city of Pergamon, uh, you know, it mentioned about the, the you know, the, the same, same doctrine, you know, uh, because uh, Balaam was the, uh, the, the teacher of the Vikings, you know, the Vikings tried to mess up the uh, religion. Uh, that a hundred percent God's word, they they add on their own stuff. You know, they they end up uh, having a sacrifice to uh, idols. Uh, so in Book of Revelation chapter two, it mentioned all of the seven churches. You know, all seven churches is part of the body of Christ. So all seven churches have people that are saved, that that belong to Christ Jesus. But you know, in it, uh, none none of the seven churches are all perfect. Not not not, uh, you know, they they all have their shortcoming. Um, so I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read for us uh, Revelation uh, chapter two, verse fourteen to sixteen. 
Okay, but I have a few things against thee, because thou shall, thou hast the, them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak, Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit forn fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with sword of thy mouth. Mm, thank you, thank you. So, so these uh, whole things, you know, in uh, numbers, and uh, later on, you know, in uh, different centuries. And uh, near the end, uh, you know, talking about the seven churches, you know, in the, the, the church of Pergamon. Uh, and, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, two issues. One is they try to mix up the uh, God's word with the man's word. You know, they try to, you know, bring up, uh, you know, like a Bible commentary, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, their, their uh, booklets, um, which, uh, you know, are, are not, uh, you know, from God's word, you know, or, or not honoring Jesus, you know, uh, but rather they want to honor uh, their denominations a lot of time or their their own uh, doctrines and they add on uh, their own doctrines and uh, they add on, uh, uh, you know, that, that is one issue, you know. That's why you find, you know, many times, you know, in a cult, in a, you know, um, one, uh, many of the religious cult, you know, they have their own, additional holy book, additional holy book, you know, it's like, you know, almost standard, you know, they, they add on their holy book, but it's not just the cult, but even in uh, a lot of denominational churches, they, they kind of do that, you know, they kind of have their own, um, you know, um, you know, study books, so, so they end up study the, the books rather than the Bible. The books are written by men, you know, now, if the books are talking about Jesus, that's one thing. But, you know, a lot of time end up, they tell you how to be a good uh, Christian. They help tell you, uh, you know, you should be against one, one sin. You know, this kind of sin, he's, uh, you, you should be against. Or you, they tell you, you know, um, how, to, how to do this, how to do that. You know, it's not talking about, you know, Jesus' uh, com, you know, com, accomplishment. Uh, because when you talk about Jesus, uh, you know, it bring out, you know, the Holy Spirit, uh, you know, blessing. Because God's word has power. It's a, a life. God's word is a life. You know, Jesus' life is, uh, is God's word. He's the way, you know. So, you know, when you uh, talk about Jesus, you know, then, uh, um, you know, you, you, you are, you know, uh, getting the, you know, uh, 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 life and uh, you know getting uh, the holy spirit anointing you know and then uh, signs and miracle follow you um but the problem is um a lot of churches they don't even believe in uh um, signs and miracle anymore they say uh it already stopped you know it's only only uh in uh in uh in uh early church uh they have signs and miracle uh the uh so nowadays you know whenever they see some blessing or some signs of miracle doesn't matter who said, uh, they say, oh, they are false prophet, you know, they, that's not real, you know. And, and, and you already see, if uh, they don't believe in the power of, you know, of, um, you know, the Dulamis, they don't believe, don't follow them. You know, that's all, what the first Timothy was saying, you know, don't follow that, that kind of uh, uh, leaders, you know, because uh, they have no life, they have no power. Uh, now, I'll give you some modern day example. Now, current events. The current events is uh, COVID still not finished. And the monkeypox uh, is another virus, uh, like smallpox. It's uh, already started. And then wars and rumors of war. Now, uh, this is uh, uh, stuff that um, uh, we, we find. You know, uh, it's reported uh, August 8th. August 8th. So it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, happened this week, you know, uh, news, 
it's not a news report. This is one of the COVID uh, database. Uh, and then it talk about, you know, uh, you know, uh, different, different uh, uh, state, you know, what's going on. And the red one is the high, high death count COVID. The red one. Still, in, in other words, you know, uh, uh, from uh, uh, January 20 to August uh, 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 2022, uh, you know, the death count of the, uh, uh, the death rate is high, high, you know, in this state. Well, what's going on? You know, this is, uh, you know, we have said uh, so many times already, um, you know, those states uh, apparently, uh, you know, uh, they uh, they are very religious, they are very devoted. Uh, they uh, they have, uh, you know, focus of uh, 10 commandments. Uh, they put it in front of the capital, in front of churches. They tell the school uh, to to recite the 10 commandments, you know, and uh, they, they want to honor the old covenant. Now, uh, the, the fact of the matter is, yeah, you know, all the countries, uh, a lot of law, law, you know, they were based on Ten Commandments, sure. But the country, the, the government, when they practice Ten Commandments, is only on the outside. In other words, if you don't, if you don't uh, kill somebody, you're okay. But if you kill something, come someone, then you go to jail or you die. Okay, well, you know, yeah. But no one can regulate the inside. No one can change your inside. You know, you might not kill anybody, but according to Jesus, in God's eye, if you uh, you hate someone, if you uh, uh, hate uh, other races, you know, if you you uh, look down on other people, then it's like you are killing them. In God's eyes. And so inside is a God's standard. On the outside is the government standard, you know, don't don't kill somebody, then you won't go to jail. Okay, you might hate him, you know, but just stop the, the but you know, you, you find out it's very strange. You know, how come the, the curses of the old testament happen to some places more and more, higher and higher? That is very strange, you know. So uh, you know, it's uh, it's the Ten Commandments is uh is a is a you know spiritual thing you know it's a supernatural thing you know when you try to honor it then holy spirit cannot help you and a blessing cannot come to you you know uh, because you know in the old covenant you know if you you break one law you are broken all the laws you know so 613 you know you you broke you break one law you hate somebody or you like you look at some woman and then you already broke but of course, uh, Jesus already forgave us, you know. So, so, so you go with the new covenant because Jesus paid for it. Jesus already done the sacrifice for us, so that we we don't have to pay again. You know, uh, you cannot get the double charge. <laughs> so, so uh, if 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 you look hundred percent to Jesus, you marry to Jesus, you're okay. But you if you marry to Mr. Law, trouble, because uh, you marry to Mr. Law. Jesus cannot honor it. You know, uh, you know, a lot of churches they they say they believe in Jesus, but then they when they talk about, you know, in the sermons, they talk about Ten Commandments. Uh you are against we we should be against this one scene. Uh we should be against this other scene, you know. So, you know, those are just like Ten Commandments. Now, this is another uh, thing, you know, it's a it's a sadly, it's a report this week about steel birth. What is a stillbirth? Stillbirth it means that uh, the death of fetus in uh, in uh, utero that occur after twenty weeks of gestation. So in other words, it's uh, you know the the it's the it's not an abortion. Okay, stillbirth is like you know the either the fetus or or the mother was too sick or or somehow you know have some sickness. And then as a result, you know, cannot carry the, the baby to full terms, you know, even though it's already past 20 weeks. That's stillbirth. In other words, stillbirth is, uh, is uh, beyond uh, someone's control. It's not an abortion. But how come Mississippi again? You know, uh, we already said before, you know, many times, 
And um, we, we found out, you know, certain uh, state have um, highest cancer rate death and then have a highest heart uh, disease death. Death, and then you know all kind of different uh, cause or sickness or disease are, are ending ending up death is uh, in some states, and then this particular one is a uh, highest rate of stillbirth. In other words, it's not you know uh, yeah you you can be against abortion, but this one is beyond someone's control. It is it's weird you know because uh, how come you know some state have a uh, more higher death. Um, you know, so uh, end up, uh, you know, shorter life um, than uh, than others day, you know. Uh, so, so you know, this is uh, something, you know, it's a, uh, you know, uh, I, I propose that uh, is related to the, their, their, their belief, you know, when they believe the old, uh, old Testament covenant, the Ten Commandments, they promote it, they end up uh, have more sins, but they also have more sickness and curse. Now, this is uh, also uh, this week, August 9th, this week, you know, so uh, this is uh, reported this week uh, by uh, uh, Oswald data, you know, our will in data is an uh, Oswald database. And uh, August 9th, what happened is uh, monkey pox have higher infection in religious countries. See, all this color, it's not a lot, you know, like uh, uh, maximum a thousand, you know, so, uh, so, so, but apparently, like the religious country, somehow have a higher infection of uh, another, not just COVID, you know, monkeypox too, infections. So you know, it's it's a it's a weird, you know, it's a how come you know, like even Australia is higher, you know, but in even though the Af you know the monkeypox uh, apparently come out from Africa, but they they are not they are not uh, that much, you know. But but you know uh, you know it's uh, it's like uh, very few in Asia. You know some you know one or two or three. Uh, but you know the higher the higher is in the you know religious country that uh, I suppose you know they are still uh, in their churches uh, promoting ten commandments. You know they, apparently because uh, that is one of the one, you know, Ten Commandments, the, the Bible is God's word. So, so you know, if, uh, if they, they, uh, they uh, you know, uh, holding on to the old, old covenant, holding on the Ten Commandments. Yeah, that's, that's uh, all kind of trouble. Yeah. And uh, this is also, you know, what's going on, you know, like, uh, you, you know, in Ukraine, you know, there's a lot of, a news report about nuclear reactor. You know, the, the, the first one of nuclear reactor that blew up in uh, Europe was in Ukraine, in a place called Chernobyl. Chernobyl. And uh, it blew up in 1986. It melted down. And, uh, and then, you know, as a result, you know, uh, you know, the cloud, you know, radiation, radioactive cloud, uh, kind of spread, you know, in uh, uh, a few days, in a couple of days, and then it uh, basically covered the whole Europe. And uh, so, you know, what's that to do with the war in Ukraine now? Well, I, I like to bring this to your attention that, uh, you know, Chernobyl nuclear reactor melted down on Nissan 17. Nissan 17 is a high holy day for the Hebrew calendar. But also is uh, also a uh, uh, is a high day for for Christian because this on seventeen is like three days after Passover, three days after Passover. Passover is this on fourteen, so three days after Passover is what day? Is the Resurrection Sunday, the Easter, is a uh, on seventeen in Hebrew calendar. So how come the 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 nuclear reactor um, blow up, melt it down, and then spread all this uh, nuclear dust, the cesium, the cesium-137, you know, all over Europe in 1986. Well, I, I propose to you, you know, this this is uh, means that, you know, there is uh, a, a, an element of a religious underpinning of, you know, what's going on in Ukraine. 
you know, what's going on in Ukraine. Because as a result of that, um, uh, you know, more than half million um, Hasidic Jews, you know, because uh, the, uh, all the, uh, virtually all the Hasidic uh, Judaism is from, uh, from that area, from Ukraine, Poland, and, uh, you know, the, near, the, the you know, those area nearby. And uh, so half, half of the million of the Hasidic Jew left Ukraine and then went to Israel. And then some of them went to New Jersey and New York state. Um, so, so as the reason why they migrate to another country uh, is uh, because, you know, the, the nuclear reactor uh, blow up in their hometown. You know, Chernobyl is uh, famous for one of the, um, you know, the hometown for the all the Hasidic Jews in the world. Yeah. So, well, you know, uh, well, what what's going on? Well, you know, so that means you know the law want them to go home. You know, like like uh, want them to go home. Um, you know, uh, to, uh, in, in Israel. You know, according to Ezekiel thirty six. Now, uh, well, you know, uh, very quickly see if I can share with you some of those uh, other current events. So how Americans are affected by heart disease. This is reported uh, um, July, 2022. This is reported of July, 2022. And then if you look at this, the map is darkest in those, uh, uh, in those states, you know, the Bible Belt, the, the, the places. So this is a uh, uh, report of 2021 and uh, you know, so uh, this is uh, reported uh, uh, last month, you know, so which state have the most death from heart disease? So see, it's uh, we based on CDC and uh, but reported by another news media. And even HIV, HIV is highest in the those uh, Bible Belt state, you know, the Southern Baptist uh, state. You know, highest even HIV. You know, it's it's not a lot, but still, you know, it's very strange. It's very strange. You know that. You know how come you know all all different kind of uh, cause of death is uh you know you know concentrated in those states where they are most uh, Baptist, uh, most uh, holy, or most religious, most uh, Bible Belt. You know. It's a uh, it's a uh, very strange. And then I I give you another one. This is the fatality or a pneumonia death in the U.S. Also reported uh, July, and and then you look this, yeah, this is really weird. You know how come they have all this, uh, you know, concentrated, uh, and then accident mortality by state, the accident mortality by state is uh, also higher you know uh in 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 rate you know in in uh, you know i mean they, they are all you know they're not all you know the same order but uh, they are focused they are very full you know center much on the uh, southern baptist state you know now i'm not saying things are against southern baptist because i believe all the uh, brother and sister that believe in Jesus Christ, no matter what denominations, they, they believe in Jesus Christ as the, as the savior, uh, you know, uh, by salvation for them. And they, they believe here, Jesus Christ is the son of God. They go to heaven. But, you know, if uh, they uh, have other kind of additional belief that uh, they want to practice 10 commandments, they want to be more uh, religious, more devoted, more holy than other people, then that's the problem. The problem is uh, when they go back to the Ten Commandments, they practice old covenant, uh, which is already uh, expiring. And uh, because you know nobody have self control, you know self control is given by 
uh, Holy Spirit. It's a gift of Holy Spirit, self-control. So, you know, you, you cannot overcome the flesh. You cannot, you know, um, you know, it, it's all, all because of Jesus. That life is changed. Now, I show you also uh, over 11 years, the flood fatality, you know, is also in this area, the flood fatality. You know, it's, it's very weird. Yeah. Now, it, it's not uh, just the hour of the 50 stage, you know, you see this uh, phenomenon. Uh, you see the daily new confirmed death per million, August 11, which is yesterday. And uh, you would find, you know, a very strangely, um, you know, the, uh, the religious continents, the religious continents, you know, have a higher depth. You know, this is daily. In other words, they are the new death, you know, per day. You know, it's, it's still going on. You know, the COVID is still going on. It is not that many. Okay. It's not that many. It's like, like 20. Well, you know, 20 per million is... But still high, still high, you know. So you see the differentiation of those, you know, religious country, religious continent, religious state, you know, that seems like they get uh, more curse. You know, uh, again, you know, the tornado is the same thing. The tornado death is the same thing. So, so in terms of death, it's a uh, which is. Kind of like, yeah, you know, the tornado is the uh, highest, you know, in, in some state. Why? Because uh, they they uh, tell, uh, you know, the uh, angels in heaven, say they also tell uh, all these uh, demons on earth that uh, they are more devoted. They, they are holding on to the Ten Commandments. They are holding on Ten Commandments. They have fallen from grace. Christ is of no effect when they are holding on Ten Commandments. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry, you know, um, I, I don't mean to, you know, uh, you know, bang all this uh, bad news. But um, if, I, if I don't, you know, um, you know, then uh, nobody would have known. You know? So that's why we have to do it now. But we have good news. We have good news. Well, good news is what? In uh, Deuteronomy, uh, you know, the last verse of chapter six, this is the good news. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read for us. Uh, this bottom here, chapter 6, verse 25. I'm going to ask you around to read for us. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I, I'll just read it myself. Uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. It shall be oh, how righteous. Sorry, I put the mic off. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Uh, uh -huh. Are you okay now? Yeah. Okay. Can uh, you read I one? was reading, but yeah, but the mic was off. And it shall be our righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. Okay, God very good. Command. Yeah. So so the reason why you know this verse is so so wonderful is uh it shall be our righteousness. Man, you know, because uh you know we found out, you know, of course uh, in Jesus' time and uh, in the New Testament, the righteousness was given by Jesus. Because he had fulfilled all the 613 law. He had fulfilled the Ten Commandments. He had fulfilled everything that's required. So now, you know, those people that believe it was, it is given in the New Testament, is giving to us the righteousness so we can stand in front of Father God and call him Father. And the Father said, um, you know, come here, my son. You know, so we are all sons and daughters of God. Because we have the righteousness. But turn out in the Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25, this is also true. Also true in the in the Old Testament is already talk about talk about this. The same thing, the same thing. Wow, you know what what you know, if you watch, it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do Jesus. This is H H53 is Jesus. It's a hidden word. It's Alec Taf, see that Alec Taf, Jesus. But they, they, they did not have it in translation. So Chinese Bible, Latin Bible, German Bible, English Bible don't matter, you know, because they, they are just translation. The original Hebrew is uh, Jesus. He observed to do Jesus uh, have 
done it for us. Jesus done all the commandments. Jesus is the sacrifice. See, eight five three, eight five three, Alec Ta. It's Jesus did it. <laughs> so, so you know when Jesus did it, then what what happened? Then our God is commanded. So, so this command is not saying uh, you have to do it. You have to do it. You know, no, He had commanded that uh, we are uh, we we get this righteousness. We He has commanded. So, so what what are we talking about? It's uh, the last three verses. I mean, three words is God happily commanded. Command what? That we get the righteousness. <laughs> this is really wonderful. And 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 this, even though it's a translation, you know, like as you know, like nothing. But actually, this is uh, it's uh, same as the the uh, name Asher, same as the name Asher. In other words, this this is uh, Asher also means happy. So oh. it's uh, our God happily command command what that we get the righteousness. <laughs> well, who who did it? Well, Jesus did it. We just observe. We just observe. You know. We just listen, we just hear, and then so you know th that's why you know uh, uh, all these other words uh, were translation. So um, you know there's no our, there's no he had, no us. You know, it's God happily command us upon us. God has command. You know, so so basically, in other words, uh, this is a uh, really wonderful. I'm, I'm just telling you, you know, uh, you know, this uh, this is all hidden. But uh, of course, you know, uh, I'm happy to to be the first one to tell you, um, you know. But um, you know, all the rewards are all yours, you know, because it's from God, you know, it's not mine. <laughs> so so it turned out there's a there's a blessing uh, about Asher. Asher, you know, have the two verses uh, in the uh, uh, chapter thirty three. There's uh, two words. Or blessing, uh, because uh, in uh, chapter thirty-three of the Deuteronomy, before Moses died, he blessed the uh, the children of Israel, uh, twelve tribes, right? But actually, only eleven tribes, because uh, Moses intentionally missed uh, Simeon. Remember, Simeon is oh. the law, L A W. So Simeon do not get blessed. Remember, I told you Moses. Uh, you know, both people that follow Moses do not get blessed. So it's, that's why the Simeon, like, the Simeon, uh, the tribe of Simeon did not get blessed. No mention of the Ptolemy 33 about Simeon. So Moses, uh, before he died, only blessed 11 tribe. Simeon was missed, you know. So people that think, you know, they, they uh, get blessed uh, if they uh, practice 10 commandments, they miss the blessing, you know. Even Moses, before he died, you know, he did not bless the Simeon, the Shema, the, the law. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, the last one Moses blessed is Esher. And that is wonderful because uh, Esher, you know, in the last of the blessing in uh, the Torah, means uh, that uh, uh, we are the last generation. We are also like Esher, you know, the last tribe to be blessed. Asher is like the last tribe to be blessed. But because Asher means happy. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read two verses. And of Asher, he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his foot on in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days so thy so shall thy strength be. So universally, um, uh, all the Bible, you know, sem you know, uh, teaching, um, you know, uh, different uh, seminary or whatever, they all know it, this is uh, the two verses of blessing on on Asher, which already is very good, you know, already is very good, you know, and how good? Well, you know, blessed with children. That means uh, he produced many fruits, you know. 
And uh, so the tribe of uh, bless uh, Asher is going to expand, you know, grow and all that. And then not only that, and then let him be acceptable to his brethren. So his relationship, relationship, your relationship is going to be very good with uh, your 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 other people, you know, uh, your 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 brothers. And then also let him dip his foot in oil. Now, well, what what's that mean? Well, oil means the Holy Spirit. But you know, dip his foot in oil. Well, you know, uh, what's the uh, spiritual uh, meaning? Well, you remember in uh, in uh, uh, Libo Kenisa time in the Book of Daniel, there was uh, this uh, uh, giant uh, uh, you know statue, uh, which um, you know at the uh, at the it's what represents the civilization, the civilization of the world. You know, like, like uh, you know the uh, the the food represent the last days. The food uh, with 10 toes, remember, with iron and clay, you know, that uh, describe our current, you know, uh, uh, world. <laughs> our current world have uh, 10 toes, you know, the, the ten, 10 nations uh, that's causing, uh, you know, all, uh, all kind of problem uh, in the end time. But also, also iron and clay, you know, the, the you know, the, the, um, you know, iron is um, you know like uh, the the Romans. You know the uh, you know the people are there really you know uh, are warlike, but the clay you know is uh, like the democracy. You know the democracy so called the people. You know so uh, some some power is uh, like iron. Some power is like clay. But you know that that is uh, you know describing the anti. But also that means you know because the uh, Asher is uh, in the last tribe to be blessed in Torah. And uh, so, you know, that means we are the last generation of uh, our believers. We are we belong to the kingdom. And then so we are blessed with the Holy Spirit. We are blessed with the Holy Spirit. Not only that, thy shoes shall be like iron and brass, you know. So uh, you, you go to a job site, you go to a job site, then uh, you would buy uh, some kind of safety shoe, you know, with uh, iron inside you know, still, still kept inside, you know, protect your foot. So when your shoes are like iron and brass, that means uh, you are well protected. You are well protected. That means, you know, this is a blessing. This is a, a all kind of blessing talking about your, your, your family, your, 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 your children, and uh, also your relationship with your, you know, all, all these, um, uh, um, you know, uh, friends and, you know, brothers. And uh, also, uh, you are blessed with the Holy Spirit dipping in oil, and then also you are you are your shoes are iron and brass, you know, so uh, you are safe, you are protected. And the last one, uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, professor know, and as thy day so shall thy strength be, you know, in the natural, in the natural life, you know, uh, when you go older and older, you know, longer in the days. And then uh, your strength would be weakened, you know. So you go to a medical uh, a doctor, or you you read the news, and uh, they will tell you, you know, oh, you are getting older and older, so uh, you're going to be weaker and weaker. But you know, in the God's uh, in the God's word, you know, it's a miracle power, and it's a uh, as thy day, you know. So your days are getting, um, you know, older and older, you know, whatever, and uh, your strength will become stronger and stronger, you know. So it's a, it's of course you know that's different from from the uh, natural you know the creation because uh, we are the new creation you know new creation we are the uh, supernatural we are the spiritual so it, it's a it's a different different uh, um, you know uh, <laughs> different law you know because uh, spiritual is uh, is uh, from the Holy Spirit so so you know you can believe it because that's God's word you know. So the two verses is already blessing, but it turned out. Uh, follow that, there are four verses. And uh, those four verses also blessing. But, you know, these two verses, uh, we already just went. And then it turned out, I, 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 I found out, you know, these four verses also a blessing to Asher. Those are hidden blessing. The two verses is uh, open, open blessing to Asher. The four verses, the additional blessing, um, you know, so uh, we won't have time to study all. But I, I tell you the reason why this is 
this is uh, also a blessing to Asher. Turn out in uh, the last words of the chapter 33, in the uh, last uh, words of the blessing chapter, last words. The first word is happy. Happy are thou. It turned out the happy is same spelling as Asher. It's the same word in Hebrew. So in other words, it's, a, it's like two verses is an open blessing to the, the last generation of you know, God's uh, people. And the four verses also are a blessing because you know, uh, that's the reason why you have the, the happy. Happy is the, the same, same, same spelling, same word as Asher in the Hebrew spelling. In, you know, so so it's a, it was a hidden blessing. So, uh, oh, that's why the old people saved by the law. Who is the people saved by the law? Well, there's uh, those people that follow Jesus, saved by the law, you know. So the shield of thy hell and who is the soul of thy excellency and your enemy shall be found liars unto thee and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So you're going to be victorious because you have, you are in Christ Jesus. So uh, it, it will somehow work out. It will somehow work out <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm telling you. So uh, turn out, you know, the uh, Asher is, is, um, is a happy, it, it, you know, even though it's a tribe, but it also means happy and blessed. See, it's the same spelling, same spelling. See that, see that? <laughs> So, um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to move on, you know. So uh, in New Testament, it's the same thing. It turned out in New Testament, you know, we have the same thing. Means blessed in some places also means in Greek, blessed means happy, happy and blessed. You know, how, how accidental, you know, that is, you know, Old Testament in Hebrew, New Testament in Greek. Even in some translation, um, you know, I give you this one. You know, uh, uh, you know, there, there are so many of them, but uh, I'm going to give you this one. Romans chapter fourteen. I'm going to have uh, Gerard read them. This uh, middle one here. Okay. Uh, hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemn not himself in that thing which he allow. Mm, okay, thank you. So, see, you know, the English uh, translation is that as thou faith, have it, uh, and then happy you see. But in the in the Chinese uh, translation, it said not say happy. It said yao fok ni. They are blessed. In other words, blessed. It's the same word as happy. <laughs> so, so, you know, when Matthew chapter five, you know, when uh, Jesus was talking about blessed are the poor in spirit for the, actually you, you can say, oh, happy are the poor in spirit. Why? Because they are, they are blessed, they are blessed, you know, they are happy. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, very strange. So uh, uh, also, you know, I, I found out that, um, you know, in the English, in uh, uh, 1 Timothy uh, one eleven, is um, talking about um, the, the blessed God. That means what? Uh, I'm going to have Jalal read that. Um, okay. Timothy? Yes. First, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to, thy, to my trust. Yes. So, so this uh, description of the Bless God actually is also describing actually Jesus is a happy God because he's happy. You know, he ha he is happy he have uh, done all this for us so that uh, we all can join, you know, to be a family of God. So he's blessed. You know, how, how can God uh, bless himself with blessing? Well, because the word bless in uh, Greek is uh, also happy. You understand, you know, so he's happy that he has done it for us. He's really happy, you know, he's, he's not, you know, he, but uh, he, he's not going to force it on us. That's the thing. 
you know, you 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 know, some of those church people, you know, are leaders. They 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 say, oh, you know, uh, don't be so happy, you know, and uh, you know, God uh, might my my punish you, you know. See, that, those are Moses' way, you know. They they follow Moses, you know. So uh, some of the church leaders are uh, is in trouble. Yes, uh, I'm afraid so. You know, uh, if uh, they they don't bring out the the happy, uh, is you know is um you know that uh, we have our, our life with Jesus eternally, it's uh, it's not good. Now uh, I'm going to skip you know because uh, we we are we are, we should be time uh, for a holy communion, uh, but you know suffice to say you know uh, in in the past uh, even in the Old Testament uh, we found out the law want to heal us. The law can heal us, but you know you have to figure that out from uh, from the from the uh, you know, eternal because in the Old Testament time, you know the Hebrew Bible, they don't have uh, commas. Those are uh, punctuation commas uh, will not will not there. So so as a result, you will find that you know if uh, if you have the if if and said if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, come here instead of here. Because all those comma were added on by the translator, you know, for English, for Chinese, for Latin, for German. So, so, but in the original Hebrew, there was no comma at all. So, you know, and uh, and if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, comma, thy God will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. Jesus keep all his commandments. Jesus keep fulfill all the law. Jesus did the obedience. Now, what happened? Then, you know, he will take away all your diseases. He will heal you. You know, the, 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 the mention of Jehovah Rapha, the, the law who, that he will deem, you know. So, so it's the same thing about in the Deuteronomy 7. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, and then, but, but there's additional detail. So, uh, if you you uh, you know do your uh, 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 you know uh, translation with a different place of for the comma, then you know that the law do that. You and then uh, that the law do them, and uh, uh, so and then and then you he will bless you with the corn wine and oil. Corn wine and oil is what is the communion and the healing oil. Um, is uh, is in the gospel and is also in the revelation. And then what would happen? He would take away all uh, from thee all sickness. And then he would put none of the evil disease of Egypt which thou know upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. So in other words, you know, uh, with the uh, holy communion, um, you know, uh, from uh, Abraham time to now, four thousand years. Um, it's it's uh, it's all about Jesus, Jesus, uh, you know, Holy Communion for healing and blessing for us. So, uh, you know, that's why in the Book of Revelations, you know, uh, we have talked about that before. You know, in uh, in uh, Book of Revelation chapter six, verse six, and then uh, it talk about the we the barley, and uh, you know, for the bread and the oil and the wine. The wine is also also for the Holy Communion. The oil is also for the anointing oil, healing oil. Now, uh, why mention that? Well, because uh, way after that, you know, that is the uh, another beast. The beast is the death and the power was given so that a uh, fourth part of the earth, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, with the uh, killing and then all that, you know, uh, trouble. So, you know, this is the hint, you know, that, uh, you know, that believer of Jesus, uh, or you know, those people that are still going through the going through the tribulation, and uh, they can get it from the Bible that uh, they can be healed, they can be blessed, that they can be saved. Yeah. So it's the the the, the holy communion is uh, is our way out and a blessing for everyone. So um, I'm I'm going to uh, you know uh, if uh, you have the bread and wine, are you ready? If, uh, if uh, we're ready, then uh, we're going to do the uh, Holy Communion. If you are, okay. you are on the video, uh, you can pause and then uh, later on uh, get the bread and wine so you can join up with it. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? 
uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you for uh, you give you broke your body, you broken your body, and then you are giving it to us, and uh, you know by by your grace that uh, your body uh, was uh, uh, strike, uh, you you receive all the uh, torture and strike. Uh, by your strike, we are here. And, uh, you know, by your word of God, that uh, as you are in heaven, so are we in this world. You are now seated on the right hand of the Father. You are, you have no sickness. You have no, uh, uh, you are perfect in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in heaven. Uh, you have no problem. You, know, you have no trouble, no disease. So uh, as you are in heaven, so are we in this world. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, that uh, we partake your body to remember your death so that we know that we have eternal life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. After the meals, uh, the bread, uh, you hold up the cup and you say, this is the blood of the new covenant that uh, you remember our sins no more. All the past, present, and future sins are all forgiven because uh, you are more powerful. You are the son of God and uh, you die for us and uh, you pay for all the sins of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Now we have the righteousness. The righteousness were given by you and uh, we gladly receive it and uh, that uh, we have a right standing before God and uh, we can pray for many. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Okay, well, let's have a closing prayer. Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful. Thankful that uh, we have a good Bible study. And that uh, I pray that uh, all the people that uh, hear this, uh, God's word, that, uh, that uh, God's word uh, with the power and signs and miracles uh, to bless many. And uh, so I'm praying for, at the sound of my voice, a uh, blessing, um, you know, uh, Gerard family also, and uh, for his, uh, his loved ones and uh, all his uh, uh, families in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless, I bless them with healing and power and uh, protections and joy and peace. But I also praying for the blessing uh, for the YouTube uh, audience and uh, other channels. In the name of Jesus, I I pray for blessing uh, because you are you are the God over the uh, time and space. So uh, in the future and uh, in different state, in different uh, part of the country and uh, in a different uh, part of the world and that um, whoever listen and hear the God's word and that uh, they be blessed with uh, at the sound of my voice be with a healing and blessing and protections and uh, provisions and uh, also for their families in the name of jesus christ amen 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 thank you hey thank you uh, good to hear 